there. I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm so excited to have you here with me today because I have a great answer to the question, I've let myself go, how do I get myself back? And you know, that is a common question for all of us and for me at different points in my life. When I've gained an extra five or 10 pounds and I'm having problems getting it off, or when I've just sort of let personal grooming go and had a period where I wasn't really interested in all that. And it's funny because at several points every week in the comment section, I get a heartfelt comment from some female viewer, usually it's a female viewer, that says, you know, I used to look so good and then I got involved with the kids and the work and I let years go by and I have really let myself go. I'm 15 pounds too heavy, I feel lousy. All I do is sit on the couch and I'm just not in very good shape and I feel terrible about it. And in this video, I'm going to share something that I have discovered with you. And it is actually the sponsor of this video, which is a company called Future. And what the company does is it helps us create a better future through the things that we do today. And what the company provides is an online app, you use it on your cell phone, that gives you a personal trainer. And that personal trainer is matched to exactly your fitness goals, the things that you like to do. You can let them know you like yoga or Pilates, something like that. In my case, it is weightlifting. And as you can see, I've got some guns here. And I have already finished my first month in the app. And I just got a little notification not too long ago, an email that said I had not missed one of my personal training sessions in four weeks. And I do five sessions a week. I work out in this exercise room here, Monday through Friday mornings at five o'clock in the morning. And please don't let my setup intimidate you because the future personal trainers can work with you no matter how much equipment you have or you don't have. They basically start where you are and help you develop a wonderful fitness routine. And I'm going to be showing you how the future personal training program works over the next few minutes. But first, I did want to tell you there is a discount code below the video where you can get your first month of personal training that is valued at $149 per month. You can get it for just $19. And I think that is a tremendous deal. Because when you think about getting a personal trainer, in fact, I've never done that before, because if you use an actual personal trainer in the flesh, that can cost you about $100 an hour, and I never thought that was worth it. And I have to tell you, they gave me a free month to demonstrate this to you. And quite honestly, I thought that after my first discounted month, I would get the, the tools that I needed to get my workout program restarted again, and that I would not pay anymore. I would just use what I learned from my personal trainer in the first month, to actually take the workouts on my own from months two thereafter. But quite honestly, I have just paid for the beginning of my second month and I intend to stay with this program because I really can't believe what a difference it is making for me. And for me, the difference really isn't knowledge of working out because I have been a weightlifter for a long time. I keep showing you my guns. But what the Future app has done for me already and what I really appreciate on an ongoing basis is that it has made me accountable. Every morning when I get up at just before 5 a.m., once in a while I'll think, oh, I don't wanna get out of bed, and that's what I used to do in many cases. And that was what my fitness life had become. And at that point, I was really letting myself go. And if you're at that point too, there are two things that I think are essential to get yourself back after letting yourself go. The first is to have a good diet, and for me, that is an extremely low-carb diet. I have been on the carnivore diet now, although I have had a few problems with it lately, but I'm back to it very solidly in the last maybe about three weeks. And if you'd like to see a video about my progress on the carnivore diet, let me know in the comments section because I would love to share that with you. So number one, your first thing is, in my opinion, to get your carbohydrates as low as possible. If that is keto or even carnivore, you really have to back off those sugars and refined carbs to start getting off those few extra pounds of weight. And the second thing we all need to do to get ourselves back is to start a good workout program. And that is totally what this fitness app has done for me. And I really don't know if after a month of working out, you can see much difference, but I actually feel like I can. For some reason, I just feel much more comfortable in my sleeveless shirts. I love halter tops in the summer. And quite honestly, with as little as I was working out this past winter with my hip situation, my arms have really gotten horrible. And I'm so happy that the Future app has enabled me to get back into a solid pattern of working out five mornings a week for the past five or six weeks. And I do plan to continue this. First, if you're interested in getting yourself back through fitness and you want to try out the app for just $19 for the first month, 
You're going to follow my link below the video, and once there, you're going to complete a little quickie questionnaire to let the trainers at Future know, number one, what sorts of workouts you like to do, yoga, Pilates, running, whatever, and also to give them a little background on yourself and your goals, and also to let them know what kind of fitness equipment you have access to. And that can be everything from, I don't have any fitness equipment, to I love to work out in the gym and I love to work out on weights. And basically, once you have completed that little questionnaire, they will match you with a personal trainer they think is best for you. And when I completed that questionnaire, the main thing I wanted to get across was that I really wanted to develop a consistent workout habit because I had really let that part of my life go. And so they matched me with Gabby, Gabrielle, I guess is her name. And thank you, Gabby, if you're watching this, you have been so wonderful to work with. And then after they match you with your personal trainer, you set up a little 15 minute Zoom call with your trainer. And then there's a little 15 minute telephone or Zoom meeting for you to meet your trainer, get to know him or her, and to give them a bit more information about all of your objectives. And then you download the future app on your cell phone. And then when you click to go into that app on your first workout, you'll see everything you need to do your workout. And basically what it is in the app is a list of exercises. And then as you're going through each exercise of your workout, you see a fitness model showing you perfect form on how to accomplish that workout. And Gabby, my personal trainer, starts each of my workouts with five minutes on a cardio machine, and I chose the rowing machine. And then after your five minutes of cardio, they give you some great stretching exercises to get you all warmed up. Here we go. Set for inchworms, five reps, even if it means not going as far as you could with your back rounded. And the cardio and the warm up takes less than 10 minutes. And then for me, since I chose weightlifting, I got into weightlifting exercises. And basically, Gabby and I have been working back and forth to create the perfect set of weightlifting exercises for me. Okay, I just got finished with my leg workout. And Gabby and I kind of uh, talked about what we wanted the leg workouts to be. Because last year in the middle of the week, she gave me a cardio workout. And I really don't like cardio that much. I do it kind of on my own. In my five mornings a week, the first morning is a lower body workout. Tuesday is upper body. Wednesday is a combination of upper and lower body. Thursday is upper body again, and Friday is legs. And I have to admit that I liked those five daily workouts so well that I've actually added a sixth workout on Saturday, which as I've told Gabby, if I have really intense workouts Monday through Friday, which I usually do, I will give myself the option to either do or not do the Saturday workout. And we both agreed that that's just an optional one if I have the time. Let me show you a bit of my weight workout. How difficult was today's workout? And so I would say this was hard. This was a tough one. I'd say very hard. And then comments for Gabriella, and I say, hi Gabby, period, you are right, exclamation point. This was a tough workout, exclamation point. On some of the weights, I think I will go up to 15 pounds. There's my coach, Gabby. You probably can't see her very well, but then it shows you what you did. We did five minutes of rowing, 30 seconds of recovery, and then the stretches. And then you end up doing the weight workouts and you do each set eight to 12 reps, sometimes eight to 15 reps, and you're gonna do the weight workouts three times. So you get a good workout. Now I will tell you that when I used to work out on my own before the fitness app and before Gabby was my personal trainer, I would wake up in the morning, brush my teeth, and then I would go in and sit in my chair up in the family room and have a little bit of coffee and maybe do a little praying. And that was a problem because some of the time I would even start watching YouTube videos and I would end up saying, oh, I don't wanna do my workout today. I waited too long having coffee and whatever. And Gabby helped me realize, she gave me a good idea, which is Beth, 
it seems like going into the family room and having your cup of coffee, your little reward, if you do it before you work out, half the time you're not going to want to work out. And so she suggested that I make the change to get up, brush my teeth, throw my hair back in a nub, and come downstairs to do my workout, and then make my coffee time my reward. Music to my ears. Yum. I don't know if it was worth that half an hour, but it's pretty good. Well, that was a look at my personal training sessions through the Future app, which I think is just wonderful. And again, I thought that I personally had enough discipline that I really didn't need to use the app on an ongoing basis, but I have signed up for my second month and I plan to keep up with that because to me, for $149 for the whole month, it is so worth it to have a personal trainer to be accountable to. Plus, Gabby is often able to help me in terms of my form because I realized that when I used to come down here on my own to do my own weight workouts, I was pretty sloppy on my form and I just hurriedly worked to get through the workouts. And if you feel like you have let your fitness go a little bit or that you just need an extra boost, then remember to follow the link below the video and you will get your first month of the future program for just $19. And even I have to admit that I was totally surprised by the value of this program in my life. And basically, Futures personal trainers have worked with everyone from someone who is just getting off the couch and knows nothing up to advanced professional athletes. I can't recommend this program highly enough and at various points through the coming months, I will let you know my progress. Okay, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day. And actually, I think I mentioned this thought a couple of weeks ago, but with the idea of fitness and doing something good for yourself today, I thought this was a perfect time to mention it again. And someone in the comment section once said to me that when she was trying to motivate herself to get started on something that was kind of hard, she would repeat the words to herself, your future self will thank you. Your future self will thank you. And you know, I can't think of a better statement to use with regard to personal training and actually starting a consistent fitness program in your life. Your future self will thank you. And ladies, I know exactly how you feel because after all those months of having terrible hip pain, I just didn't want to work out. And, and I thought to myself, oh, well, after the surgery, after a month or so, I'll feel better and I'll get started again. And I kept trying to start on my own. And for some reason, I was mad at myself, but I just didn't have the discipline to consistently do it. I would do it once or twice a week and I'd be beating myself up. And even the phrase, your personal self will thank you, didn't really get me down here in the gym because at five o'clock in the morning, the lure of sleeping a little extra was really too hard for me to resist. And I have to say many, many mornings, I still get up, I get up at five o'clock and half the time I think, oh, I'm just gonna hit the snooze alarm. And then I remember that if I do that, my personal trainer, Gabby, will know and I really am proud that she is proud of me because I get little notes from her congratulating me on keeping up with my fitness routine and working out every single day. I really feel accountable to my personal trainer and that really does help. And I do try to remind myself on those mornings when I don't want to get up, I don't want to work out. You know, Beth, you ought to work out because your future self will thank you. And I know that's true and you know it's true too. And if you like me need a little extra oomph, a little extra help in the fitness area, you might give the future fitness app a try. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.